Hi guys, this is going to be my first video on this channel. Uh, this is like my third time doing this. Every time I do it, something happens. So hopefully it works this time. Hopefully you guys are actually seeing this. Um, on this channel, um, I'm going to be doing care videos, breeding videos, um, mostly reptiles. I do breed feeder rats, things like that. Um, I will be vlogging probably, um, doing some herping. Um, I'm going to be going over some debates like live versus frozen, um, tubs versus tanks, uh, things like that. I use Sterilite tubs personally. Um, I have all kinds of stuff. I have ball pythons, boas, hog noses, corns, retics. Um, I have savanna monitors. I have beardies, blue tongues, all kinds of stuff, uh, turtles. So I am going to highlight some of my animals in this video. Uh, you will see some of those. It's not going to be a full room tour. That'll be down the road a little bit. Um, and that's probably going to be a really long video. So uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what kind of care videos you want, what kind of breeding videos you want, uh, what kind of things you want to see in the future, let me know. Um, until then, I will show you guys some of my animals. Alright, the first snake I'm really going to highlight is a Kenyan Samboa female. Um, I actually have to check for baby, she's very pregnant. Guess I can look at her. Nope, no babies. As you can see, she is still very swollen down here. Um, I've been checking every day. It should be any day now that she pops out her baby, so I will keep you guys updated on her. Alright guys, I'm going to highlight one of my Trillantulas here. This is Rosalind. She is a rose-haired Trillantula. Um, she's a sweetheart. She's the only Trillantula that I currently hold. I do have some small ones that uh, are still hatchlings. Um, so I'm not holding them yet once they get a little bigger they are tolerable to handling. Um, I have like six or seven different species of tarantulas now. Um, all the way from orange baboons to rose hairs. So I have extremely aggressive to extremely docile. Next up is my pied male. I have a female pied as well. Um, she is a lot smaller than he is. Uh, she probably will not be ready to breed until next year. He will be ready this year, so I think I'm going to get some het pieds at least to breed him to, so at least I'm pushing out some pied babies next year. Uh, real pretty male, a good amount of white, not too much, not too little. Um, only got him a few months ago and he's growing like crazy uh, can't wait to see what he produces next year this is my bumblebee male he bred a pastel female for me this year oh, he's in blue um, I'll do another video on him when he's not in shed He's a real pretty male. He's got real bright yellow when he's not in shed. Uh, he bred a pastel female, put out eight eggs, so I'm hoping for some killer bees, some bumblebees. I will keep you guys updated. Uh, actually, I'm probably going to do a video when I cut those eggs. They're due in early August. So uh, 
I will keep you updated on those eggs. Here we have my Azanthic pen. Um, I doubt that this camera is going to pick up his color. I originally was recording on a Nikon 5100 and I cannot get my videos to upload to YouTube. I tried and tried to talk to some people and nothing they did would work so unfortunately for now I will be doing my videos on my phone. So I really hope it's picking up the color on this guy. He's real nice silver and black. Um, can't wait starting a project this year with him for some uh, lightning balls or some azanthic pie balls so can't wait to get started with that and can't wait for all the females that this guy is going to breed Alright guys, this is the last snake I'm going to highlight for today. Um, far from all of my snakes, I have a ton more I could show you. I could be here all day showing you guys uh, snakes. So this one isn't anything crazy special, it's just a little hatchling pastel. But it's special to me, it's uh, one of the hatchlings that I put out this year. It's only my second clutch ever. Um, this guy is about a week old. Uh, he is currently in shed. Um, he should actually be shedding tonight or tomorrow. He just came out of blue yesterday. So, uh, yeah, like I said, nothing special, but definitely pretty cool. Um, if any of you guys breed, you understand how, uh, how exciting, no matter if it's a pastel or normal, anything that you, uh, put out of that egg is special to you uh, it's very exciting so that's the last snake i'm going to do i have a few more things to highlight so i'll get to those but i just wanted to show you guys one of the hatchlings that i put out this year all right this is uh this is della um she is my longest boa. She's probably a little over seven foot. Um, she is a rescue. When I got her, she was in a wire cage with a space heater blowing on her and no water dish. Uh, she was very skinny, very emaciated. Now she's pounding food. She's in the right temperatures. She's got a big water bowl. Um, she does have some damage to her mouth. She's not gonna be looking at me, of course. Um, she had real bad mouth rot when I got her, so we got that all taken care of. Um, she's actually missing part of the front of her mouth. Um, but she still eats fine, she's not in pain, she moves around fine, and she is growing like crazy. Uh, from what I was told, she's actually about 20 years old, so uh, she has been through a lot and she will be spending the rest of her days with me where I know she will be appreciated and well taken care of. Uh, despite everything she's been through, she's still a sweetheart, um, very docile, she loves to be out. So uh, that is Adela, one of my four belt constrictors. Alright guys, last lizard of the day is going to be Rufus, my sub-adult savanna monitor. He is in shed right now, uh, he's also a rescue. Um, almost lost him when I got him. He was basically on death's door, he couldn't lift his head, he wouldn't eat. The person that had him had him in a 20 gallon tank with no UVB, um, no calcium was given. Um, he was just in real rough shape, he had scale rot. Um, tail rot, uh, all kinds of stuff wrong. He had a burn on his back, that's that white spot. It's starting to uh, actually heal up nicely now that it's white, it's regenerating new scales. I don't know why my camera keeps shaking like that, 
Um, we come back here, he actually had to have part of his tail amputated. Uh, despite everything, I lucked out. He realizes that we saved him. Um, and because of that, he is a sweetheart. Um, Savannah monitors in general are known to tame down very well. Um, usually it does take a little bit of work, but with everything this guy's been through, I think he just appreciates that he's no longer in pain, he's no longer suffering, and that he's being very well taken care of now. Uh, he's almost tripled in body weight. Um, this is the first time he has shed since we got him, so he is growing. And he is a sweetheart. I actually have one other Savannah monitor that is a hatchling, he's a young baby. Um, I will not be highlighting him today. Um, I'll save him for another video. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, this is Peaches, my albino hairless rat. Um, always confuses people that I have pet rats. Um, I don't really like feeding off rats. I love all animals. Um, but... I love my snakes and to keep them you have to do what you have to do. So uh, I'll do another video on that in the future, how I feel about all that. Uh, maybe do a video on my rats and how to properly care for them. Um, so that's where I'm going to end with Peaches, my albino hairless rat. Um, let me know if you guys like the video, what I can change, what I can do better, um, what to do videos on in the future, um, lots of stuff to come, um, lots of help to come, tips on care and breeding, things like that, so, uh, feel free to let me know what you want to see in the future and let me know how I did on my first video. Thanks, guys.